Hi. In this uh, particular chart, uh, what I want to do is to point out the the, the potential of uh, deeper analysis with customer profitability whale curves. If you take all of your customers and rank them, you've ranked uh, different uh, types of customers, different segments. Uh, t it's not a typical for distributors to sell two, three, four, five different you know categories of customers, uh, and then you know large ones to small ones within those categories. What you can do, though, is when you go, and, and what this curve says is, is before we assumed that two customers that both had uh, the same sales and margin dollars and margin percent, we would assume they pretty much made the same amount of money. But when we look at the, uh, the whale curve, we realize, oh, customer A, because their, their, uh, their costs are so much lower than, than the, uh, the typical customer, this is all basically profit that we didn't know we had. Conversely, go to the bottom report and find some huge customer and realize, oh my gosh, look at these extra costs that are way, way out of line, and that's why they're a big loss. What's even more revealing is if we do a twin study. So in other words, go to the, go to the bottom of the report, find your biggest loser, and often it's it's uh, you know for, particularly for co you know contractor supply distribution companies you know the, the, a branch's best customer as far as sales and margin dollars could be at the bottom because it's a guy that's a business that's local right around the corner and they have 20 vans and those those guys come over every morning lunchtime and at the end of the day to you know buy some more stuff to go go, go do jobs or fix repair things um, so it's very hand to mouth and they just say bill me bill me bill me and all this paperwork costs is is way out of line compared to the, uh, the margin dollar that's in the paperwork uh, th th there. So we can go find a, a worst case and then go up to the top of the report and hunt down to the top 5, 10, 20, 30 customers and find um, a customer who's really the same creature. Same rough, say, vo you know, volume, margin dollar, margin percent, and yet we can see that the hidden profits are, are there, or the much lower cost to serve. Now, if we have line item profit analytics, we can actually create separate P&Ls for each customer and contrast the two. Now, this is very useful. It's very instructive because a lot of times when you come up with a problem account like customer B, there's immediate pushback. Oh, well, excuses like you can't believe, it's impossible, there's no way we can change this guy. And yet, sometimes even within a given salesman's territory, you can go find a twin where, in fact, all that is being denied is actually happening. So, and we see the same thing with, with uh, profitability of, of, of items and pricing. We see a very undisciplined pricing for a given stock keeping unit, but it's all over the map. And just as often as we have big accounts that have low prices, we have big accounts that have been you know, a pretty good pricing. You know, so um, it proves that, that, that even within our own portfolio of business, things are possible. Of course, we want to go and look at the customer and really understand why they're so disciplined and why they've managed us so well to actually get a very low cost to serve, which, which parallels their very low total procurement cost and their very high uptime economics. This person over here, when they buy hand to mouth, they have lots of downtime. They have lots of emergency buying. They have customers that aren't getting serviced because they can't get the stuff in time. So they actually have their hidden costs are killing us and our hidden costs. So twin studies are very instructive uh, and, and sort of blow away a lot of the, the gut level myths or, or uh, objections you may get. Thank you.